Bitcoin is bouncing back after dropping below $6,000 for the first time since November, for one coin, by the way. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are, well, they're, I don't know, I can't even call them cash. They're, they're currency that exists in computer code uh, and has garnered a lot of attention recently. And for one reason, because over the past two months, check, check out that chart. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have seen a boom with people rapidly investing in hopes of making millions. Now, with so much information on a brand new technology that has created remarkable uncertainty over what to make of it, a crypto consulting group is trying to help investors navigate. Enter Enrique Rodriguez and Jacob Meline, two early investors captivated by the technology years before the boom while they were students. Joining me now, Enrique Rodriguez is the CEO and founder of Crypto Consulting Group. Jacob Meline is the CFO and lead consultant of Crypto Consulting Group. Guys, good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Hey, thanks. thanks for having you us. Were supposed yeah, to be having with us. us. You were supposed to be with us earlier this week, but uh, you know all this breaking news sort of uh, got you out of it. So let's talk about this. First of all, your, your story. Uh, Enrique, you were, uh, you were working uh, for UPS. You were trying to pay your way through school, and that's when you figured out cryptocurrencies? Yes, it was about three years ago. I was working at UPS on the night shift, and they pay for your school at UofL if you do that. And so during this time, I really just started to... Um, uh, learned about these technologies and how it applied to the department I was working in. So I was in the international department. And we dealt a lot with the supply chain. And so I started to apply how blockchain worked as a decentralized network. Um, and it really just solved a lot of the inefficiencies that we were having, you know, in our department. And so after that, I really became intrigued. It was one of those things where you lock yourself in your room for a few days and yeah. just try and learn uh, everything you can. And so that's really when the idea started. I uh, started telling family and friends about it. Uh, then they all of a sudden started calling me, uh, texting me all the time. And so I decided, you know, there's there's a need for this, a need for the education, you know. There's I'm gonna start calling you and texting and, you. I lock myself in a room for a couple yeah. of days and I don't come out any smarter. Uh, Jacob, how'd you guys uh, meet up? Yeah, uh, so I actually had, I was a server at a restaurant when I found out about Bitcoin and I did really, really well uh, taking my stock portfolio and investing in cryptocurrency. So I decided I wanted to start some kind of cryptocurrency business. I didn't know what I was gonna do yet. So I went ahead and quit my job and a couple months later, I met Enrique, and I liked his drive and his energy. And ever since then, we hit it off, and we've been going at it. All right, so l let me know what I need to know, Enrique, because I have been uh, trying to talk about this for a long time. I warn people who don't lock themselves in a room for two days to try and figure out. You actually saw what the application of blockchain technology could do and how it could improve a business. So I think a lot of people buy this stuff without knowing anything. What is the basic thing that I need to understand about cryptocurrencies and whether or not I should be investing in them? Yeah, absolutely. So I think one of the most important things and, you know, while we started the business in the first place is education. You know, there's a lot of ways, a lot of pitfalls out there that, you know, newcomers fall victim to. And that's really the focus that we wanted uh, to have is to really educate people on that. And so definitely do your due diligence, you know, look at these projects, see if they have a working product. Um, there's a lot of pump and dump schemes out there. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, YouTube financial advisors. So you really just have to be careful. Um, you know, seek out your communities. There's little, there's a uh, Bitcoin meetups all over, blockchain meetups. You know, seek out these communities. Yeah. There's usually always a lot of uh, enthusiasts and experts in the area and connect with those individuals. Uh, and then lastly, just don't invest in anything you're not willing to lose this is a, uh -huh. a new disruptive technology uh -huh. yeah and so it's it's very volatile and that's something we stress with our clients you know we're very so transparent jacob, with that so 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 enrique jacob enrique figured out a way it, it, when you understand um cryptocurrencies as a payment mechanism you can see how this can make sense right if somebody in another part of the world doesn't have a credit card in the same currency wants a low effortless transaction you can buy a dell computer in nigeria if your credit card isn't working or iran or somewhere else do you, Jacob, believe that it is sensible for the average investor to buy cryptocurrencies as an investment, a buy and hold investment? Yeah, I actually think that's the only way to play the game is to be long. Uh, this is an extremely volatile market, extremely risky market, and diversity is one of the you know keys to investing. But diversity goes both ways. You need to have all types of different assets in your portfolio. And I think people are going to start realizing that. And I think everyone's going to start adding some crypto to their portfolio. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, thank you for joining us. We'll have more of a conversation when we've got more time to do it. Enrique Rodriguez is the CEO and founder of the Crypto Consulting Group. Jacob Malin is the CFO and lead consultant.